You know, I'm a child of God. Do you believe that Jesus is real? <laughs> yes, I believe that Jesus is real. And for those who do not believe, it's simply because you have not had an experience with him. I thank him for being my savior, the one who died for me, died for my sins and yours. And no, I haven't done right all the time. I've made some bad decisions and major mistakes, but the blood still works. And for that, I want to say thank you, Jesus. Also, I am glad that I don't serve Muhammad or Buddha, Harry Krishna, or all the other false gods that exist on this earth. I serve the one and only true and living God, and his name is Jesus. I have been through too much in my life to believe Jesus is real. Where was Jesus when I was too depressed to get out of bed? My mama didn't love me, and my daddy kicked me out the house. Where was Jesus when them three boys raped me? Where was he when I had to stand on a corner to get money to feed my kids? And where was he when my husband was beating on me and took all of my money and left me for dead? Where was this Jesus when I had to go through all this? Where was he? Where was this Jesus? Maybe he is real. Or maybe he's not. Lord God, I'm coming to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, I wanted you to touch my daughter, God. Touch her mind, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord God, the devil is trying to take my baby out, God. But I ask you to touch her, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, you know all about it, God. Oh, God, when I was still buried in my womb, God, I pray, God. And I ask you to send me a child, God. And you bless the God. And God, you told me, God, that she would be a mighty woman of God. So, Lord, I know, I know, I know within my heart, God, that my baby is going to return back to you, Father. Lord, help me, Jesus. God, I want to... Just to be honest with you, God, and God, say, I don't know, God, when you're going to come through, Father. But all I know is that you are, God. I know you can, God. I know you will, God. Oh, God, touch my baby, God, Lord, wherever she is, God. I ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to send a legion of angels to protect my child, God. She is yours, God. She is yours, God. I committed her back to you, Father. And I'm asking you to turn it around, Father. Turn it around, God. Lord, I ask you to do this for your glory. For your glory. <laughs>
better not ever, ever ask me again. Now, eat what is in there. Deal with it. Mom, are you all right? Let me go get your medicine for you. Did I ask you for anything? No. Now, I got my medicine in here with me. You know what? Both of y'all take y'all little butts and get in the bed.
told of these gentlemen. I, what, what I was, he was about two feet. Two feet, and, and, two feet. Yeah, I know my size is you long. You saw that, sure. <laughs> what about the other person? Did you see anybody else? It was tall, I told you, y'all not listening. Okay, did you see them exit the building? Which way did they go? Oh, they was running. <laughs> One went, to, one went to the east, one went right. <laughs> okay, calm down, man. Oh, calm, oh, down. Man. calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Now, look, go to your apartment. If we have to ask you any more questions, we will come to you, okay? Oh, calm down. God. All right, thanks. What are we working with? Adult female right here. How long? At least four hours. Rigor mortis? Yep. Wow. How many bodies? Total of three. Three adults or kids? One adult female right here, two kids. Two kids. Wow. Hmm. Any exit wound? Uh, not that I can see. Wow. What are we working with here, partner? Nine millimeter. Nine millimeter? Yep. Whew. Wow. Something's going on here, man. Go ahead and bag it. Yeah, bag it. Pretty young thing. For something like this to happen to. This ain't matching the nosy neighbor story. We got to find out what's going on with that. a reading of a suicide letter by one of her best friends, baby girl. <laughs> suicide letter. Dear family and friends, if my best friend, baby girl, is reading this letter to you, that means that I am no longer here. I have given up the fight for my life. And I would like to say, I am sorry. And if God didn't have mercy on my two kids, then that means they are no longer here on this earth. And for that, I am especially sorry to my mom because she loved her grandkids. But I refuse to let my kids have to struggle in this life without me being here with them. Yes, I have fell on hard times and attached myself to the wrong crowd and got hooked on a bad habit that was hard to shake. And I could no longer sit back and allow my kids to starve and go without the things normal kids have a chance to enjoy. 
if I was to leave a message to all the mothers of today, it would be to never, never let a man beat you up and suck all the life out of you and leave you with nothing after he has taken all you have to give. That is what started my down spiral in life. So in closing, I would just like to ask our merciful God to forgive me for giving up on the life he gave me. And to also let you know, I was not in my right mind. I was depressed, stressed out, and frustrated with no hope for my future. With that being said, ladies, please, Watch out for the company you keep. Hugs and kisses, please. Next on the program, we would like to have a two-minute talk by her first cousin, Shanene Bonkafire McCraker. I hope this child can sing.
Next, we will have the eulogy by Reverend Michael Wright. God bless everyone here on today. It's truly an honor to be able to come before this family and all of those who, whose hearts are heavy and grieving at this time. In all the years of ministry and all the joys that ministry brings, uh, this is probably the most challenging, the most difficult, uh, it's the heaviest time when dealing with the death of children, of a mother, of a family. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth. And teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness. Hear me, Lord. Oh, Lord. I really don't know where to begin. All I know is I want this pain to end. Oh, if you would, I want to be with you every way. Every day I confess that I'm lost in my way. That is why I come before you, saying, Would you forgive me? Somebody 
What you got for me? I got you a little salsa. I hope so. All right. That's all for me? Yeah, last night you shortchanged me too. Get in. Come on, come on, Daddy. You know I take care of you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Been a long day. Been a long day, Daddy. Quite sure. Listen, the money wasn't right yesterday. Come on, I got you. I, what I, you I'm mean? going to make it up for you. you I'm going to make it up for you. What you want me to do for you? You better get it together. What you want me to do? I got you. You better get it together. I got you. I got you. What or you're going to be please? dismissed no. as of tonight. No, no. I can't, you can't do that. Come on. I'm telling you. I need you. I don't got enough money. I need money. you. I no. need you. Don't touch you me. Get me my no. money, witch. Get me my I money. I, I got you. I, no, I can't, you can't do that. Please. Get me my hey. money. Please! Get. I'm sorry, please. No. Please. I don't care nothing about no tears. Please. I don't please. care nothing about no tears. Please! I told you. Give, give me that. Can I get that? Get. Can I get that? How much money you got? I got you. You got $2? Ain't enough. I need $20 for this bag. $20. Come on with it. I got you. Get me some more money. I got 15 No. Ain't enough. Please. Can, can get I, me some more get, money. Please, can I? I'll get me oh, some more no. money. Get, I, Please. No, you are dismissed. Can I get you, off, please? you are dismissed. You are dismissed. Why are you gotta do me like that? You are dismissed. Let's go. Get out. No. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Wait. Please. Don't do it. That's it. Get out. This way. Get that low. This is all you got. This is all you That's got. That's all he gave me. That's all. You couldn't get nothing else in this. He beat me up. That's all he gave me. I should beat you some more. That's all he gave This is. What are you worth? That's all he gave me. Oh, come on, man. God. I do everything myself. Man. You know what? This ain't even enough. Man, come on, I got my own stash over here. Come on, man. Go with this. With Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's my Oh, yeah. Get on off me. It's mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, we finna have a party now, for real. Oh, yeah. Come on, I'm thirsty. You know what? Here, take that. Don't spill it.
I'm hearing about some house party. You know I don't like house parties. Betty, no house party. Just hanging out with the girls. Okay, now you make sure, because I don't like them little pissy tail girls you be hanging out with. And make sure you get in here in a decent hour. Okay, Betty. I'm going to be okay. You don't have to worry. All right, now. Okay, love you. I love you, too. Bye. Yeah, bye. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy, looking for a good 
in my purse. Let me get that too. Jump, uh, run this up there for me. Thank right, you. Bro. When you come back down, you got my hey, hand. Hey, can I play? Can I play deuce? Yep. Come on, little bit. Thank you. No so, what's going on? Nothing much. What you been up to? Nothing much. Hey, you cheating. Why you cheating, you do? Hey, you so ugly. Hey, hey, playing you. What the could you lose? Y'all just down for me. All right, bro. What you doing? You gotta talk to them. They got it. What you talking about? They can see what they doing. I'm trying to see what we are. Joe, don't. What you be on? Nah, I hate playing you black self. You remarkably losing, man. I don't wonder what you doing up there. He probably slamming like I am now. I don't know, dog. Let's go check it out. Alright. Let's go check it out. How are you doing? Good. I'm Detective Wallace. Okay. We got a report here about a rape a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, y'all just not coming? Who called you? Because ain't nobody called you from here. It's an anonymous call. So, what do you want? I want to investigate. Talk to the people about so then you know, figure you out what's going on. So then perhaps you should speak to the ones that called you about the rape, because I just told you ain't nothing happened here. Look, ma'am, there was a rape on this address, so you want to be an accessory or what? Whatever. Come on in. You already didn't invite it yourself in already. Good ass fatality. I can't stay in no police. God, oh. why are you letting me in anyway? How you doing? Who might you be? Why do you ask? Were you listening when I was at the door? No. I need to investigate the situation. If there was a rape here and you were involved, you can no. go down just as well as the rest of the no, people. No, I wasn't. Uh, Ladies, we gotta work together to bring these guys to justice. So I need you to answer some questions, and I need you to answer them honestly, all right? What do you want to know, sir? Because I'm tired of looking at you. I need I'm a description. Description of who? Of the raper. Mexican. Mexican. Mexican, and he 
was a midget. A Mexican midget running around here. Yeah. I don't think it was. I don't know personally. Oh my god. Can we not keep talking about this? Having a hard time there, are you? Listen, man, since you guys don't want to be honest and talk to me right now, here's my card. When you're ready to talk, Thank you. please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Here you go. And I'm all right then. Now look, now you know we will be out there on the block doing whatever it is that he do. He sell, he got about three baby mamas, and he, he mess with any and everybody. You need to get checked out. Checked out? For what? I'm, I'm cool. Did you hear what I just cool. said? You know we will since second grade. He been on the same thing since we was kids. You need to get checked out. Because what happened if you got some now for messing with that fool? Just don't speak it, please. It ain't the fact of speaking it, but I'm just saying, just to be safe, even if you got some, even if you don't, it don't hurt the no. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'll go. For real, look at me. I'll go. Go put on some clothes. I will. Come on. Come on, boys. Get in the room here. Come on. Come on, move it along. Move it along. Let's go. Move it along. Get in there. Get in there. Let me get these cuffs off you. Yeah, hurry up. I'm trying to be here all day. Man, these cuffs. Have your seat over there. These cuffs tight. Man. Have your seat over there. Get ah. your seat over there. Boys, comfortable now? Which one of you wants to tell me what happened last night? I don't know what you're talking about. What about you? Well, good. He's going to write. What's that? What does that mean? I don't know. What does that tell me? IDK. What about you? Yeah, I don't know. I ain't touched nobody. Who said anything about touching somebody? You guys were at a party last night? A couple days ago? Somebody called in, said there was a rape, said it was you guys. What do you have to say about that? Who said it was us? I said it was an anonymous phone call. Somebody at the party said they saw the three of you raping a girl. It's a party. There's other people though. You guys want to play dumb with me? Well, all we do is go to the party. You want to play oh. dumb with me? Do it look like you playing dumb? Sure does. I think you might want to talk to my friend and partner. Officer Minor. Officer Minor. Statistics, statistics. So, gentlemen. I'm only going to ask this one time. What happened at the party? Do you know what happened? No, I don't know. So who is this Mr. Woo Woo? So you Mr. Woo Woo. I heard you had the main part. No, he Woo Woo. Oh, you Woo Woo. Boy, I asked him not to lie. Mr. Woo Woo. Calm down. So you went at the party? Nah. Why are these found in your pocket? Look familiar. Yeah, they bother your mom. My mom? You know, you know why they were in this pocket? Mm -hmm. See, it was your mom. Yeah. I'm trying my patience, boy. Boy, sit down. Sit down, boy. Take it easy, minor. Now y'all gonna tell this story. Man. Maybe we can start with this from beginning to end. Hey, don't get a phone call or something? No phone calls. Talk first. Got nothing but love for your baby. Just say the word, I make you my lady. I know you like what I do when I do what I do, huh? Yeah, I like it too. I can do it like a pro, major league. Nobody can do it better than me. This acts about me all around the world, they know about me. Come and let me take you for a ride, better yet, take you for a test drive. It's all up to you, I done told you what I can do. Now it's your turn to show me what you can do. I'm a go-getter, so I get it how I like it. You should know better, so you get it how I give it. The 
There's a price to pay when you do what I do. 24 7, boo, I make it do what it do. Like I said, it's a price to pay what I do. I know you like the way I do. And I want to speak on one more thing, and that's about you know the women that has you know really been hurt and molested and raped you know you say well where is God you know why did I get raped well I'm a living witness you know and I don't tell this never told this has been a secret forever but I was raped and I had to really really depend on God because I was raped by a preacher so we say oh wow you know um, you want, I've been living holy and I've been living this and I wasn't having sex and God allowed this to happen. Well, here's the deal. God allowed things to happen sometimes because of our disobedience. Where we go, you know, sometimes our parents will tell us, oh, don't go here, but you got to go there. So, yeah, you went where you wasn't supposed to go. So God allows something to happen so you can realize back to the first point, obeying your mother and father is right. You have to listen. And so when, I, when it happened to me, I was literally devastated because not only did I get raped, I got beat. So you have to really say, okay, God, I really was like in my room saying, for real, this happened to me? Are you serious? Well, here's the thing. I had to learn that no matter what I've been through, I began to get in my word and say, God, you are yet God. And here's the thing. I could have got beaten, raped, and killed. He let me live to be a testimony to say, no matter what happened to me, God, I know you were still there because he didn't kill me. The end results, results could have been that he killed me. So this is what I'm saying to you guys, that to really, really learn how to trust God and no matter what you do, no matter what situation you've been in, God is really for real. And you got to let him know that you trust him. And in trusting him, you have to really walk into a new dimension, a new area. You have to really say, okay, I don't care what you guys are doing on this side. I'm going to go this way because I, I want to live for God and I don't want to be up and down. And when he comes back for me, I want to be ready. And that's it. And that's all. All right, ma'am, we need to ask you a few questions. Can you tell me what happened here today? Well, what do you think happened here today? Don't you see my face? What kind of question is that? Ma'am, is your husband here? I don't know where he is. What is his name? Kingdom. Is this the first time he hit you? <laughs> no, it's not. Don't you read pounds before you come out the house? <laughs> Ma'am, uh, where does he work at? He's supposed to be some professional athlete or something. Hell, I don't know. Do you know where he might, he might have gone? No, I don't. I don't even care. When did he leave the house? <laughs> Last winter. I don't know, a few hours ago. And what kind of car does he drive? You going you, you want the keys? Who is this out for? I mean, we're just trying to help him resolve the situation. Um, what, what kind of car does he drive? You want to know, too? Yes, we need to know that so that we can look for him, man. Well, I don't know what vehicle we're in. He, we got a 983 uh, old school, and uh, the nigga got a Lamborghini. Lamborghini, Lamborghini, something. Something. All right, and you don't know what time No, I don't. House. Do you want to file a formal complaint? What you hit for? Ain't that what you're doing now? Look, look, you look, want... look, okay? Look. He ain't here, okay? He beat me. These my six kids I'm trying to take care of. That's all y'all need to know. Go find him. All right, we're going to do that. Man. I'll tell you what. You take my business card here. You got some money and that's how I can feed these kids? Ma'am, just give us a call if he comes back. This is nervous. Whew. All right. We're going to work on this. Just Thank give you. us a call, ma'am. All right. Thank you for your information. Thank you. Bye. I'll tell you about these cops, honey. Batman and Robin. Yeah, mama. Yeah, they, I don't know. You know, it's just crazy. You know, practice was crazy today. Yeah, the kids sitting here in the middle of the floor looking like they home. Let me, let me find out if they ate. All right, mama, I'll call you back. All right, love you. Bye-bye. Where y'all mama at? We don't know. She said she was going to be back here five hours ago. And we hungry, too. So you ain't ate nothing? No. Not no. even a hot dog? No. no we Piece of bread? No. Okay. Clean up this mess and go upstairs to your room. It's bedtime. It's 9 o'clock and y'all ain't ate. School in the morning. I can't believe it. Listen to the pastor.
all of your heart, son. Not your head. you scared? Mm, says please. Come on and sleep on the floor. And be quiet. They must be crazy, ain't they?
Where you was at? I talk, peaches. I talked to Peaches at 11 30. You talked to Peaches? Pepsi too. Well, you know what? You, you know what? Like. You know what? If you was here. If I was what? If you was here. Okay. We wouldn't be going through this. I'm going here? No. Mm, you don't say that when that check hit the bank and you go to the store, do Hmm? Do you say that then? Who is Leroy? Text and talk about, ooh, I miss you, boo. Ooh, I can't wait to see you again. Who is that? If you take care of business. Excuse me? If I was doing what? Now, I 
pay the bills in this house. I pay the bills in this house. So what we gonna do is tomorrow, we gonna go down there to the abortion clinic and we gonna fix this little problem here. First off, I'm not getting an abortion for the umpteenth time. Do you not understand that? Too many of my friends have already had abortions. I'm not gonna have that on my heart and I'm not gonna be hurt. You shouldn't wanna be hurt neither. And you sit up here talking about, I ran out and got myself pregnant? No, fool. You came in and you raped me when you was drunk. Or did you forget that? You know what? Since, since you're just doing so much work, so many good deeds, maybe you should get you a little certificate or an award or something for Daddy of the Year so you can wear it on your chest right there with a ribbon. You, 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 you wrong? So you me like that? You out? Oh, you out my house now? You ain't great you want, you want to be, you want to be grown, talking to me, then no, get your hair, get your stuff, come on. Baby girl, please. I'm going to show you who you Don't talk. get me. Who you talking to, you ain't grown. Oh, no. No, no, come on. He gave me out. Hurry up, please. I don't want to be here with this fool. Don't care about it. Get your stuff, go. Here it is, we're dealing with a problem in situations that is occurring too often in our everyday lives. Our young girls getting pregnant, not knowing what to do with the circumstances. Not knowing to choose whether to live or whether to give life or birth or whether to give abortion. And here it is, in Jeremiah, God lets us know already that he knew us before we was even formed. He knew us before he even created us. And before we're born, he sanctified us. Not only did he sanctify us, but he had a plan. He ordained our lives. Too often, too many times, we feel that when we're born and conceived in a certain way, we're not meant to be or we're a mistake. Not true. God has a plan for us. Not only do we have a plan for us, but he loves us. Most of us don't feel that God loves us because he allows us to come from broken homes where it seemed like our mothers and fathers would choose to love their habits and show attention more to their habits than they do their own kids. In Ephesians 6 and 4, God lets us know that father, fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in a nature and a, and a discipline approved by God. I have a question for our fathers and our men. God has given us power, authority, not only that, but he's given us dominion. The question is, what are we doing with that power? Are we influencing positive or are we influencing negative? I believe today we need to take a stand as Joshua did. Joshua's stand was, for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Now, the question is on you today. Who will you serve? Would you serve the Lord or will you serve Beth? But for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Oh, oh. oh my God! Oh my God! Ma, Dad! Come on down, man! I got some potatoes! Oh. Man, all my life! All my life! I ain't never knew! God! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, hey! Come in, die! Oh. JB, what is going on? Oh. Yeah. And why are you making so much noise this time in the morning? What? And why do you have a gun? Are you crazy? Uh -huh. Do you remember what happened with your sister? Yeah. Uh, I will never have another child of mine fall prey to a gun. Oh, my God. I don't You always knew my son had problems. 
But oh, I never God. thought it would end like God, this. Man, Boy, life was not that bad. Put oh, that God. going away. It ain't like that, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Y'all you know, know how y'all know always told me that Jesus is real, right? And he'll be there even when you get to the end of your rope. Well, that time was for me today, y'all. I was just outside of the garage, man. I was, I was just about to commit suicide, man. What? But the Holy Spirit and my sister came to me in a vision, oh, y'all. They came to me, man. They told me that was not the thing to do, man. Amen. Oh, baby. Oh, God, jail. In jail, mom. Oh, my God. Here they go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's just how God works, son. That's just how he works, his son. Oh, man. I've been praying and praying for you for 20 years. For 20 years, and I'm so glad, thank you, God, that my prayers have not been in vain. Thank you, God. That is wonderful, son. And now that you got your man, right, what are you going to do with yourself? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be, you know, I think he want me to preach. He want me to tell the nations about him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to be like you, you know what I'm saying? Nobody else. Now, JB, it ain't gonna always be easy. But if you just keep your hands in God's hands, everything is gonna be over. Thank you, Mom. Mm. That's right, son. You got God on your side, and you got me on your side, too. And you know what, JB? Since you, you, you're brand new, son, I need to teach you a few things. Right. So I need you to get my Bible for me. I need you to turn to 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. And I need you to read that for me. I need you to read it out loud. All right, hold on. I need you to read that for me. I ain't too good with this uh, Bible thing, so y'all have to give me a second. Mm -hmm. uh, read! All right. Uh, be not deceived. Uh, evil communications corrupt good manners. Yes. Okay. Now, this is what God trying to say to you young people. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to be misled. Got them foolish friends you've been hanging around. Right. Right. He wants you to get out from amongst them and run for cover. You know why? Because they're going to mess your head up and give you a bad name, son. How did he That's right, baby. That's why I say Woo. be led by God and no one else. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. now what you trying to say, woman? Because I got some word in me, too, right here in my heart. Matter of fact, I talked to the man just this morning. Hey, hey, hey. Baby, I ain't saying you ain't got no word in you, but I'm just saying I want my son to be led by God. Okay. Yeah, I, I hear you, Mom. Okay. Wait a minute now. Who is that coming to my house? These people got to be crazy. Oh, JB, whoever that is, get rid of them. All right. Me and your mama need to get back to bed because yes, these people sweet. coming here this early in the morning just don't make no sense. All right, mm -hmm. hold on. Let me go see who it is. They got, the, they got to be crazy. people. I know, honey. Uh -huh. What is really going on? I'm in this neighborhood. I'm creeping. Come in. We got to get out of here. Oh. Mm. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? All right. Huh? I remember you. You were the young lady that was trying to get us to come in. Yeah, yeah this is Whitney. Yeah, that's my friend Whitney. How you I'm, doing? Well, I told you about her, man. I don't know her. Yeah. I told you about her. I'm going to have to check her out. Hello. Hello, baby. Give me a hug. I'm Whitney. Oh, really? Okay, let's see. Oh, Ooh, okay, all right. All right, all right now. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So what you think, Pop? All right, JB. Sucking, yeah. sucking now, son. Oh, oh. You know, she a little short and thick around the edges. That's how I look. But she going to be all right if she say. 
Now, now, what church do she belong to? Oh, oh man, look, she belong to the uh, Love Cathedral. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> oh okay, yeah. Love Cathedral. Yeah. I really like yeah. that church. You know that church. Didn't uh, they have a revival yeah. or a shut in last week or something? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And yeah. I received a miracle at that revival. You know, I was supposed to go to the doctor a couple of weeks ago for surgery on my throat, and those doctors had the nerve to tell me that I would never ever be able to sing again. Mm. But I was touched by the Holy Spirit. Hey, he healed me. And it was felt like oh. nothing I've ever felt before. God is so good. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Ooh, I like you. Yes. 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 So, uh, she is. You know what? Now that God has healed you and everything, mm -hmm. you know, and he did a little work for your throat and all that, mm -hmm. could you do me a favor? What? Can you please just sing my favorite song? Just one time, please. No, I cannot just sing. Come I need to let, on, I need to let my, I should have oh, been for another week. Now, this last one, I said, you always faint. Faint? Faint. He faints. Faints. I wish I would. I mean, she ain't no reason to faint. Now, you know, that's my kind of woman. Now, Rita can sing. Yeah. Now, we ain't going to have Whitney singing up in here if she ain't no tide pail. No. Not up in my house, baby. Yeah. Come on now. Man. You know. Anyway. Come on, just, 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 one just one verse. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm I promise okay. I won't faint, all right? Okay, okay, okay. All right. One verse, though. Just, just one, one. And that's all I need. All right. Just one, one verse, bro. Just one verse. Just one verse. Pops. Just one verse. Just listen, dog. She oh. about to floor you, for real. Just one. Just one. <clears throat> amazing, amazing grace. How sweet the sound that, that saved a wretch like me. Read that for me again, please. Okay. All right. Flee also 
youthful lust. Stop right there. Uh, Pops, what is your point? Yeah, man, what well, are you trying to say, Pops? The Bible don't stutter. It has spoken. Yeah. Now, do I need to say anything else, mm -hmm. J.B. and Whitney? Uh -huh. you know what? Oh, there you go. I didn't think so. Yeah. You better listen to your father. All right. Tell you what. Time for y'all to go, because I know me and your mama, we got to go back to bed. Whitney and J.B., whatever y'all do, stay safe. Stay safe. I can't say enough. Go and stay safe, son. Stay safe. Okay. 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 Ok
to not end their life and not give up. So I want you to remember that. Okay? Stay on your knees. Absolutely, Pop. You know what? As a matter of fact, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'm going to go ahead and give me a little prayer in myself right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to talk to God real quick. Right. Thanks a lot. You know what? I appreciate this talk. I really appreciate it. I needed that. Yes, sir. Thanks Anytime. A lot. Thanks a lot, Pop. All right, son. I love All you. Right. Love you too, man. I'm going to see right. you later. All right. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for sparing my life. Lord, I just thank you for everything that you've done up to this point for me, Lord. Because at this point, I wouldn't even be here if you had not stopped that gun. And I don't know why you did, but you did. So for whatever it is that you have for me to do, either for it to just tell my buddies tell my friends, or even just to preach to the nations about your will. Lord, I'm here for you. I'm here to do whatever it is that you want me to do. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that's in the same lifestyle as me. I know that there's a lot of people out there who's trying to see whether or not they should take their life or if they should try to do something else to like make money, like prostitute themselves, sell drugs, whatever it is, Lord. At this point, I know that ain't the way that they're supposed to go, Lord. And if that's what it is that I'm supposed to do, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there and tell them that that's not the way to live. Because you took me from that. You took me from that and you saved me from that, Lord. And I thank you for that. And Lord, I give you all the glory for my parents too. For putting all that teaching in me, Lord. And keeping it straightforward for me, God. And I thank you, Lord. I'm going to do your will. I'm going to do your will. In your name, Jesus. In your name. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. And it is so. It is so.
people gonna come back again to take, you know, to take his church home. Like, you know, oh, okay, well, right heaven. Okay, so he probably took them, but he probably gonna come and get us next yeah, round. Cause you know we've been saying it, man. Aren't you tired of doing this stuff? I'm tired of doing it. No, I'm not really, fam. Cause man, we got some tree. <laughs> we got. We, 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 we can't smoke that later. Right. But, so let's let's ride. Let's ride, Joe. Yeah, let's ride. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. You can run, but you can't hide. I am all seen and all knowing. And I know that both of you are tired of running. My father sent me to this earth over 2,000 years ago to save you. I suffered for you. They took me and beat me for you. My enemies took me from judgment hall to judgment hall just for you. They hung me on a cross between two thieves and I did no wrong. All I did was love everyone. Nails were pierced in my hands, in my feet and in my head. They pierced me in my side, and blood and water came running down. Little man, buddy, I did it all because I love you. I love you. I'm a pray. You know, they said just ask for forgiveness and, you know, you know to confess what we did and, you know, it should be okay after that. So I'm going to pray first, okay? Father, please forgive us for we have sinned. Please come into our life. We ask you for repentance now. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, forgive us for our sins. Come into for our lives in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. That's it. And that's all they. That's all they said. Do. And man, they said, "I want you to do that. Everything, all this stuff you're doing, you, you've done. You've done." They said, "It's done." It's like I don't even want that no more, man. You know what? I don't want it either. Man, let's just leave it here. Let's try it. Let's go. Let's go, bro. The question is, is Jesus real? Is this God that we serve valid? With the many situations that we find ourselves being involved in directly or indirectly, such as teen pregnancy, suicides, premarital sex, drug addiction, and the list goes on and on from gangs, drugs, children being disobedient to their parents, if there is a Jesus, if there is a Lord, why isn't he fixing these problems? Why does he even allow these problems to exist? I think I have a couple of answers. I may not answer them all, but how about this? The Bible tells us to choose ye this day who we will serve. Will we serve God? That's the God of the Bible, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Or will we serve the man's or the world's system. Everything is about choices. Everything is about choices. Um, God himself operates in choices. Matthew 20 and 16 says, many are called, but few are chosen. Then he goes on in John 16 that says, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. So here we are dealing with a God that chooses, who creates a people who have to choose. I believe that a lot of things that we find ourselves in, we are a product of our choices. Teen pregnancy was a choice. You chose to have sex 
outside of the confines, the template that God created, which is marriage. Uh, well, this is just the day that we're living in, and I understand, but you have to choose to be different. You know, and, you know, we could get into pointing the finger and blaming and uh, it's society's fault, it's my economic condition, um, and I'm finding myself just operating in the flow. But I believe that in order for us to experience the realness of Jesus, we must choose him in our everyday walk. Ephesians 3.20 says it best. It says, now unto him who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that worketh on the inside of us. You can experience the realness of Jesus to a level that will blow your mind if you choose him. Because every thought he has for you is a perfect thought. It is Satan. It is the enemy. It is the deceiver. The thief that cometh to steal, kill, and destroy you. It is his mission to wipe away this excellent, wonderful plan that the real Jesus has for you. I'm going to end with this. How about this? There are many gods that are calling themselves Jesus. Let me disqualify some for you. The Mormon Jesus is not the real Jesus. The Jesus, the prophet of the Muslims, is not the real Jesus. The spiritual mentor of the Buddhist is not the real Jesus. There's only one Jesus, and he is the Son of God. Choose him. Choose the, this day who you will serve. Will it be God or man? Your choice. Choose the real Jesus. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So real. It's real to 